And I, you know, I there are me. there are moments and times, people, that we wish we could let y'all in. We are to the backstage and into the to the backstage and to the pre-production mm -hmm. because for the better part of about twenty minutes, they've been trying to get right and whoo, the hilarity, the comedy. Backstage brain did it, but. <laughs> A whole Tony Stark engineer over here. That's right. Welcome to another installment of the Clark yeah. Chronicles Reviews with us, the Less and Stealthy Ninjas. Myself, Scooter Ray, aka Scooter Lou. We got Gore Horror, Ronya Miss. We got King Cordy, Cosmic Boss. And we're here to discuss Scream 6. Um, I saw it in my remote location. They saw it. Ooh, ooh, what's with the face? What is happening over there? Y'all good? You know we're uh, at our remote location and there's humans. Yeah, there's a... Stop shaking the car. There's a bird watcher going by. Okay, make sure you're good over there. But, yeah, we're here to discuss, uh, discuss Scream 6. Uh, the newest... Yeah. In the horror franchise, um, initial thoughts. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I did Scream Five. I did. All right. I enjoyed it a lot more than I did Scream Five. The Scream Five was just too a little too predictable. Like the others aren't. No. <laughs> Boss, you got a serious solar, solar flare happening right now. You ain't gonna say your thoughts. Oh, my initial thoughts, <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna say I enjoyed it more than five because you know that's like the only one in the franchise that I like. Um, but I like this one, so that's wait, wait, that's the only one in the franchise you like. Look over your shoulder, yeah, the sun is setting in the west. With Saeed. I don't want to turn in case our whole sit setup. The cradle. Yes. I, I am not a Scream fan. I said that in my previous video. I am not a Scream fan. I I am a big Scream fan. I I will say it's probably Wes Craven's best work. Yep. 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 So when he melts, you know why. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's get into it. Uh, this movie did suffer a little bit of controversy because they seemingly ousted Nev Campbell out of this one. She was supposed to be in it, and she wasn't, so there was a little bit of controversy there. But in the end, yeah, she wasn't needed. Um, now, for the people out there, we will be getting into spoilers. So right about now. If you hadn't seen it and you want to see it and you don't want to hit spoilers, turn away. But uh, yeah, going into this movie, I didn't know what to expect. Um, especially with it being, you know, the sixth one in a franchise, but I loved it. I did. I loved it as well. Like, I put it right up there with one and two. Like I think Look it's here, just we don't need your negativity form. over there. Like I think it's just I'm here for my, I'm here to express myself too. Anyway. Right here. We don't need this negativity. Right here. Look how my eyes are still rolled. I hope they get stuck. But uh but yeah, what was you saying, boss? I, I enjoy it. It's one of my favorites of the franchise. Like the lowest being three is the worst one of the six. I can agree. Like, uh, like, cause I, I, you could say you watched them all back to back to back. You probably won't remember a single thing from three. Like, <laughs> so, um, like it's up there. I put it right like next to one and four as one of the best ones. Um, uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the hell. I liked the kills. They were brutal. Like, 
they were like it, the whole setup was just it was great like i enjoyed it a lot i enjoyed the characters the new ones the old ones i i had a lot of fun i had a lot of fun um personally speaking so i was talking with taiki b earlier and uh we was ranking them and i think our official list was one six i think we said one six five four two three I think that's the way we listed them. As far as the screams that we liked in order. Okay. Because uh, I don't remember three. Like you keep saying, I don't remember it at all. Other than the killer, that's it. But other than that, um, Ryan. Yep. Your thoughts? I told you I thought it was good. I'm not going to say it was better than five. The rest of them can go to hell. I don't like them, and I don't care. All right, I so that's like enough for that one. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and just meet that half of the call. This half of the she call, we're going to just meet. <laughs> Look, hey, it's a great horror movie. It is, uh, it is a great start to the horror movies of this year. Uh, I enjoyed it. If you like the Scream franchise, you're going to enjoy the hell out of this one. Uh, because they do change up the rules quite a bit. Uh, it it was fun. It was fun. I wouldn't I, say it was great. I would say it was really good. I enjoyed the mystery of it. I enjoyed the kills. The kills were the best part. Um, I enjoyed Jenna because she's amazing. I enjoyed Hayden Pantaneri. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Pantaneer. I don't feel like that. <laughs> But I enjoyed her character. I enjoyed the twist. Like, I enjoyed all of those things. That's why I say it was very good. I wouldn't say it was great. I would just say it was very good. I will, I, I enjoy the... I will say this has probably been one of the best Scream openings. Yes. No, 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 no. no. I, will, it is I, the best. I will say it's probably the best Scream opening aside from one. No. I, I think this is the best opening. You think this is better than the first ones? Yes. Yeah. With Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hardly. And I did like mm. the initial scream opening. I did. I mean, granted, I just didn't like the page got caught in the. the if door. we if we're going off a of nostalgia sense, and if we're going off of what it did, then yes, I can see why you say one is, but the fact that. Okay, like I said, we're really going into spoilers. The fact that this woman got killed, he unmasked himself. Then, well, we find out it's uh, Flash from uh, Spider-Man. Then um, he proceeds to get murdered. It was like, oh, shit. That, that was, was great. great. That was great. But the like, I can't put it above one because the whole thing surrounding one was... Drew Barrymore, at that time, was the biggest known actor or actress in that movie. And like I said, I can get all of that. Yeah, like, you, like you, you could if like if you had not seen it, you'd be like, oh, that's the final girl. And then they killed her off in the first ten minutes. And that's why it was second to this, because it's second to this because of the of the other dudes getting killed, and they were the killer. Like that's dope. Like come with. It is. Like, I like. I like. And it gave you that whole sense of you really don't know who the fuck the killer is. Oh, I, I could agree with that. Like, before you knew everything about the movie. Right. That was exciting. And yes, Drew Barrymore's death was quite gasp because it was one of the first of its time with, to kill off a main character like that. I, mm -hmm. But I will say this the worst opening had to be threes. No, okay. We, you don't like threes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Let's get into it. So the story of this movie is basically the two sisters, well, sorry, the core four, the two sisters and the twins, they move to New York to kind of basically start over and things get real all over again. And mm -hmm. we don't know who to trust and who it could be in, in steps this movie. Um, personally speaking, this one was a lot, a very... Um, this one was very more uneasy than the other screens because with them being in a big city, 
you don't know who it could be. And then, you know, with uh, Sam being so uh, ostracized in the media, you know, you know like I said, it's the, it's the not knowing of what's truly going to happen. And that's what made this one a little unnerving for me because, you know, Greensboro, well, Woodsboro, Greensboro, whatever it is, you know, that's a small little town. Right. You know, right. this one, they can actually smack dab New York City. You know, anybody could have run them that fade. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what made this one so unnerving in that sense. I mean, hell, we saw when old girl just walked up on her and threw the drink on her. You know what I'm saying? So, like the whole little convenience store scene. Yeah. It's the fact that it's New York. And not trying to shame New York, but it's just like when you think of New York in, in movies, I'm sorry, am I laughing? No, no, no. It's oh. bad, um, and when you think of New York in movies, you don't think of response times as being very fast by the police. Mm -hmm. So that was something that stuck in my brain because I was like, oh, the response times of the police. The response times of the police is what made me nervous because I'm like, Okay, you're in a bodega, but a lot of crime happens in New York all the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's like, how soon are they going to get here? Like, that's well, what happens. Well, Especially with New York traffic. Well, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's be fair. They were in a different part of New York. Well, when, at Gail's house, they were in the Upper East Side. They were in the Upper East Side. But even where they were at in college... We're sorry, everybody. There's just this card next to us that just keeps running over the curb and hitting the pole. It is not. We can't make it. <laughs> so... Oh. So we were just a little distracted. We apologize. But anyway, uh, like where they're at and where they're going to school, this is probably one of the faster response times with the police. Yeah, the because it's a college town, I'm sure they get lots of pranks too. Yeah. But True. still, so, they not they not in certain parts. But I, right. I'm not saying they was in the hood of one of the boroughs where they not gonna come at all. But I'm just saying because it's a college area, like I didn't yeah, think I, the response time was gonna be. Huh? No, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think the response time was gonna be like that. Right. You know, like. I thought it was gonna be like, ooh, we don't know how long it's gonna take to get there. <laughs> like, but, ooh, I don't know. But, Remember, per the twist, remember, no, per the twist of the, remember per the twist of the movie, you can see why they responded so fast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which was, that twist, I, I will say, the reason I'm going to give it the rating that I gave it is because of the twist and the kids. Right. Because... Like, and I had to think back when they were talking about it throughout the movie. They were like nine killers, and I was like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute." That <laughs> helped me. I was like, "Show me the pictures," because I ain't gonna remember. I had to. Go, I had to think back hard. <laughs> so yeah, and I was, was glad like, they. Uh, I was glad they did ran down like the history in a sense because it was like, but it made sense. Mm -hmm. And bro, well, it is good. Oh man! And it, and you know what? I will say this, and and this is just me. I don't remember three like that. Of course, I've seen one on numerous occasions, and I've seen five, and I'm sure I've seen the others. You know, I just don't necessarily remember. But to me, the kills seem very much more action driven. They are much more you, brutal. Yeah, and I'm like, I love how you oh. listed all the odd numbers. Like I was like, I seen well, one, three, and five, and six for sure. But two and four, I don't know. Because <laughs> I can't remember which one had what killer and all that stuff. I like, like I remember, like the first one had, we know Billy Loomis, right. Stu Carmichael, uh, Stu Carmichael, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, You know they did all the killings, and the stupidest kill they had was age up in the doggy door. And that was, was stupid in the garage. It made me mad, <laughs> but it just seemed like there was like, okay, one, eh. you know, like you get a little stabby stab, but uh, this yeah. was like. Like it should have been on uh uh what's the show? Um snapped. Like it was passionate <laughs> and emotion when they kill somebody, they right. killed them and it hurt. Damn, right, like every like out. all like you could say you could probably go back and it started to get real brutal with the stabbings right around four. Like those first three, it's like the stabs are like here's two or yeah. three inches. Yeah. And you're like, hey, that hurt, stop. 
But like you started to see it get real bad in five when they did old boy do it. Well, well, you gotta look at it this way. When we when we when we break it to four, five, and six in a sense, the motivations were different. Exactly. And right. that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Because the of motivation. Yeah. Right. Because the this motivation was so personal. Yeah. Because remember in four, because like what it was what? Uh, her niece and somebody else or some shit. Niece and uh, Macaulay Culkin's little brother, the one he yeah. couldn't keep in line. Like, yeah. So, like I said, Aaron, people's motivations and people's um intentions. Because remember, because remember in five, it was you know the whole reboot thing, and we saw how psycho that little girl was. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I love it. I, 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 that is what makes me want to see it. To be honest with y'all, because otherwise, mm -hmm. if I had based it off of the other parts of the franchise, I'd be like, I'm good. Remember, I didn't want to see five, and I was like, mm. but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. The more brutal the killing, the better for me. Gore yeah. here. Now, now for the people out there, we are going to refrain from giving you the twist. We will yeah. refrain from right. giving you the twist and who's the killers. We could just talk about the surrounding. And the first thing I want to say is I feel sorry for that little Asian woman. Look, we let's, so hard. let's say this, man. That was of the kills in that movie. That you could probably say that would be the most brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. Look, there's, a, there's a there's a there's a there's a horror TV channel called Dead Meat that I watch, a YouTube channel. And he just goes over like the horror movies he does does the kill counts and stuff. And, and he gives the most best what he considers the best kill, the golden chainsaw. That kill was the golden chainsaw. Was the golden chainsaw. Like, <laughs> like so just to get into spoilers, what happened to this girl? Mm -mm 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 -mm. We still want the people to go out there and see it. And I want to also say that Mason Gooding is a man. Okay? He's Wait, a man. That? Uh, that is... <laughs> That's Omar's boy, ain't it? Mason Gooding, what, what's his character's name? The, the twin. Chad. The twin. Chad. Wait, okay. okay. Now that you said that, Taiki B had asked me who was the MVP. He said Sam, and I was like, okay, it makes sense, because she was the main character. I said Chad. Chad is a man. Let, let, okay? <laughs> He's a man. Let, let, let me, let me, let me, I, like, I'd have to do it like, what was it, 04, 03? Co-MVP. Sam, Chad, and Jenna Ortega's character. Tara. Tara. No, well, no not Tara. Uh, Tara. Herb. Oh, Kirby, yeah. Kirby, oh, Kirby. You know what? Honestly, this movie had a lot of really high, almost MVPs. It did. Right. It. Everybody in this movie was pulling They race. was trying to live. They they was, but, but think about it this way. The events, that, the events that surrounded Chad. I'm just saying. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go from the beginning. At the party, it's like, no, 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 that ain't happening. A man. It ain't happening, partner. <laughs> Second thing. Oh, we all do this? Like, look, hey, get across. Let's go. We gonna fight. Let's go. A man. <laughs> and he came up with the nickname. That boy was dodging like he was in a soul's ball. He was like, not today. That boy, <laughs> he not was giving today. kicks. He was using props. That boy threw a 90-pound camera at somebody. <laughs> hit him in the head. And look, and like and you were saying, how you not, how you still got teeth? Cause <laughs> I said in the movie, I said, how are they not all hayseeds? Whoever is the screen person? Because y'all catching fades to the mouth. Yeah, y'all get your ass whooped. Every corner you come around and your teeth still, okay. Look, you hit me in the head very hard. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fighting anymore. I, Look, I'm not, I have a headache. I, look, I need a Gatorade and a and an egg roll. Like, took the out, like, man, y'all play too much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I give it to Chad. Like I understand, yeah. I understand other characters and co MVPs and all that. Chad, Chad did Chad. that, and I'm, I, I'm talking about come on, black men live. Like there's so many like people taking mortal wounds just to take down people. It's like like somebody even sliced my shoulder. Oh, movie over. <laughs> Hey, okay. Okay. So one thing, so one thing I will it's a spoiler, but not spoiler. When Tara got her arm sliced, she was leaking. I was like, damn, that's a lot of blood coming out your arm. Right. I'm like, they must he must have hit something major because that shit she was. Must be on <laughs> I was like, I was like, that's a lot of blood coming out her arm. Oh, like, like yeah, it's not only that. Sorry, it's just that that slice made her immediately weak. Yeah, she was. Like, <laughs> she was I, I just want to say this, and maybe I missed it in the other ones. However, if I take a stab to the stomach, I'm not walking away normal. Okay, I need to okay. go to the hospital. Taiki B and I talked about that. He said mm -hmm. the one thing I'm going to knock against this movie is. The no selling, and for you wrestling fans, y'all know what no selling is. The no selling of these injuries, because like you said, you could take a stab to the gut, and two minutes later, I'm good, baby. I'm good, Say, baby. What? Oh no! <laughs> I told him. I said, if I take more than two stabs, I am now Wally. I'm not doing nothing else. We taking a freight elevator everywhere. I'm not walking, and I'm not even gonna try. It's, no, it's, no. It's 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 like the power creep. Of these stabs, because the first one, remember when it was revealed who the killers were, they were like, We gonna set up our alibis, blah blah blah. Your daddy did all this. He had stabbed me into the side of the abdomen only two to three inches. That way it doesn't hit nothing. Right. Now it's like these people taking yuck, 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 yuck. Where they go, yeah. and they are like taking right? and praise dancing with the stabs in these people's guts, but, and it's just but, like but funny enough, <laughs> funny enough, because I know Taiki B is going to get a kick out of this when he watch it. It's just like wrestling today. Wrestling back then, a leg drop can take you out. Wrestling right. today, you need to buy 67 of them bitches in a okay. row. <laughs> no. Wrestling that today, part. you could take wrestling today, you could take about four or five finishers and still kick out. Right. These people, they was damn near getting everything done to them but shot. Right. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. I don't know if it is, like, in the past 23 years since Scream 1, if the oh, adrenaline like levels just got better in people. Maybe they just young and I told you the hormones in the chicken nuggets changed. Because <laughs> my body ain't set up like this. You said me, I quit. Shit, like, I, a, I, a, we can talk about Gail's fight. Gail weighs 115 pounds soaking damn wet. Soaking wet. With clothes on. Naked. <laughs> she's about 82. So, <laughs> like, that woman was putting up a fight and got her ass just real. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, she was giving that work. She was. I said she has jujitsu and classes that she takes. She does jujitsu because I can't flip and all that shit, and I'm not gonna run that fast either. Mm -mm. <laughs> I would have stayed in that closet, but I'm. Just... <laughs> I'm calling 911 from the phone, and I'm not leaving. But, <laughs> um, so it yeah, was. So... It was. I thought it was really exciting. But yeah, we're going we gonna to try not to say too much more because otherwise we're going to really be delving into spoilers. But I think it's worth it. If I had to give it a personal rating, i give it nine ghost face masks out of ten. Same. Okay, i give it 8.2 ghost face masks. Okay. There you have it. Scream 6. And um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with 7. Because I'm pretty sure yeah. seven is going to be If they do make a seven, they probably are. Up. It's happening. I hope they just bring like new people. Like entirely new people. I don't. I mm -hmm. want to see Jenna Ortega and her sister. Yeah, and it's going to still be the core four. I do. Because you got to remember. And you know the core four. You can't uh, you gotta, you play the name and then not bring them back. I, I, want, I, want that, I want them twins though. I want that black to come out real quick. They're like, oh, this happening again? 
now. No, the black you people come out. That, that heat is cool. a man. You can't okay? split the core cool. cool. Oh, scoop. Shout out to the MVP pug, though. Who? Cute boy across the hall, Pug from Sea Hulk. That's who that was. I knew he was familiar from something. Yeah, he was yelling at my face. I was like, I haven't watched She Hulk. <laughs> That's that boy the whole Pug. Time I, that movie, I was like, he looks familiar. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, There's another MVP because I swear. We like we as soon as I saw him, I was like suspicious. Right, we got we got. To be <laughs> you know, he's what? a nice looking Funny tall enough. man. Funny <laughs> enough, I never suspected him. Really, really, mm -mm. it would have been too easy. Suspect to me, it would have been like, too easy. Like, there was one line that just made me suspect. He was like some some brother when they were in the hallway and she's on the stairs. I was like. You better not be family to that boy, Lou. Lou, no, who is you? <laughs> who sent like, you? What set you real? Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're not going to go into nothing else. We're not going to say nothing else. Go see the movie. Please go it see it. It is a fun slasher. Yes. It is good. Go see it. You will enjoy it. Watch every five minute. and then watch this one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Watch oh, wait, four, wait, wait. then five, wait. then this one. You can skip the first one, three. One thing I want to. One thing I want to talk about. And this will delve into spoilers. And this will, this is the one thing even uh, Taiki B and I kept getting frustrated about. Because it, it started at five and it carried over into this one. Just because my dad was a serial killer don't mean I'm going to be a serial killer. And that whole, that whole trope kept getting on my nerves. But but in fairness, there is a debacle in psychological science saying that some people are more prone to have serial killer personality traits and so on and so forth. So if you take her, uh, what's her name? Nancy? What's Sam. Her? Sam. Okay. If you take Sam and you look at number one, the fact that possibly if it's some type of genetic disorder that causes that serial killerness and number two all of the influence the pressure on her planting these seeds psychologically that oh your dad's a serial killer you're a serial killer too then da -da -da -da. every time she turn on the tv every time she whatever that slowly can drive someone to that as well understandable okay but yeah Mike and I was saying, sorry, Tyke B and I was saying, Scream 7, just leave that, just just leave it. Leave that aspect in 6. I just, I, I like it simply because I feel like it'll be you know, ultimately the unwind, the unwinding, is that the word? Un Undoing? Yeah, the undoing of Sam's mental state because she already is starting to tumble into this, like she's you know, Michael it, Myers type situation. Like she said in her therapist, like she and like if they if they continue down that path, we gonna get a Halloween ends type situation, right? Because at the end of the day, that's that's what they're planting, and we are impressionable beings. And constantly being berated and so on and so forth. And then you find, oh, I like to actually do this. Not so bad. Hey, it felt good. But I want to say shout out to uh, the first victim of this movie, Samara Weaving. Adore her. Yes. Modern day scream queen. Please do more horror movies. You and Jenna. Y'all are both great. Jenna's amazing. If you have not watched her hot ones, watch it. Right. She's hilarious. If you have not watched Wednesday. Watch that. Absolutely. Speaking of Samara Weaving, watch, what was that one? Hind Seek was the name? I thought it was something dead. So, uh, so just look that up. Look up Samara Weaving, Hind Seek horror movie. Watch that. Great movie. Great. We watched it in theaters. Loved it. it watch great. the Netflix movies, The Babysitter with her in there. Great. Both of those. Yeah. Watch those. Oh, man. Love those movies. All right. Well, there you go. Scream uh, 6. It's, yeah. a, it's a it's a it's a three out of three on the recommendation scale. Recommendation, yeah. mm -hmm. recommendation scale. It's a three out of three. So check it out. Let us know what y'all think below. Uh, until next time, Scooter Lou, Aranya, Boss, we'll holler at y'all. Peace. Deuces.